What is up, Flock? Phoenix Hill here, and welcome back to the Farm Simulator 22 Phoenix Moment. This is where we talk about everything that happened last week, everything that happened this week, and so on. So, before we jump in last week, we have uh, three things to go over. One, we have to thank our Elite Flock members. Uh, these Elite Flock members are the ones who click that Join button down below. They get some special perks, like special Discord role. They get their name shout out at the beginning of every Monday video. And they get uh, like their name at the end of every single video. Plus, they get their name over there on the awesome people board. But um, we'll go if you're interested in it. Uh, you can click that join button down below to, to get some more information. But we're we're here to thank these beautiful people. We have to thank Mr. The Casper GMS, Mr. Keegan F04, Mr. Dylan Rupert, Mr. Brad, Mr. Michael Stern, and Mr. Sean Mosher. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support does mean a lot to me and uh, I love your faces next up we have to talk about today's video sponsor so here, we'll get that out of the way here and let's talk about the coolest water bottle yet again they are today's video sponsor and you know I wouldn't do all these <laughs> all these uh, sponsored videos if I did not love the product as much as I do because you know I know you guys are probably getting tired of hearing me talk about it but you know, when it is a product that I, and I've talked about it in previous videos, not only me, but my whole family enjoys, uh, I'm going to promote these guys to the, as much as possible because not only um, is it an amazing product, but it's actually a really, really good story. If you guys uh, want to check it out, um, go to colas.com and click about us and read their story. It's a pretty awesome story about how this company came to be, but they literally are making these products that are awesome. Not only do they make, you know, just the water bottles, they make, you know, they make tumblers, mugs, can koozies, they make pillows, they make ice packs, they make um, pet, like pet beds, and, and I think they even have like I don't know how if it keeps you cool on hot summer days. I'm, I'm buy the I'll buy, I'll buy the, uh, <laughs> the swim trucks. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but we're here to talk about the coldest water bottle. This thing can keep your liquids cold up to 36 hours, even up to 100 hours, depending on the size of the bottle <laughs> and you know uh, if you're putting ice in it. All that. Anyway, uh, I personally. Threw some ice in, in the bottle, filled it up with water, and I had cold water 48 hours later. So, uh, I, I can I can honestly say that it does keep stuff cold for at least 36 hours. Um, it's fully insulated, 2.0 lead uh, technology, uh, and it keeps the water colder longer. Uh, it No sweat technology, which means that this thing, even if it's you know 105 degrees outside and you have ice cold water in your bottle... You're not gonna get that sweat. You're not gonna leave rings on tables. You're not gonna have that mess in your cup holder. You know, you know when you put it, you put like a plastic bottle in your cup holder, and that thing just sweats. So you have like a puddle in your cup holder. And that's not gonna happen with the water with the with the coldest water bottle because it doesn't sweat. Also, can can confirm that. Uh, <laughs> floats in oceans and pools. Uh, also, can confirm because I take mine in the pool with me. I'll just you know toss it in the pool whenever I, I'm I'm gonna drink. I, find it floating somewhere grab a hold of it and take a sip out of it have not tried it in the ocean though because i'm afraid i'd lose it and i don't want to lose my coldest water bottle because i love them uh if it's up to 99 percent cup holders i will say that's only with the smaller bottles uh the bigger bottles like i have the a couple of 32 ounces those don't fit in any cup holder i've tried um but the tw i think it's 21 ounce the smaller ones do for sure fit in every single cup holder i put it in uh, rubber grip and big handle for carrying perfect size. Not too big, not too small. Um, I can I can say that I've never felt uncomfortable carrying it around at all. Uh, durability very strong and built uh, solid built fits big ice cubes. We'll say confirm on that one as well. I'm reading from a list of their features. Uh, just just going over them and giving you guys my honest feedback on it. This thing is very durable. I have a, <laughs> my youngest one uh, decided she was going to throw hers around in the parking lot. It's got all kinds of dents in it and everything, 
but still keeps everything cold. The only thing uh, that broke was her cap, which is made out of a plastic. Uh, her her bottle, the, the cap to it, split. But we bought a replacement, and it's held up since. So <laughs> she has she has put in a, a, a hurting on it, and it still uh, works just fine. Um, and every single one of them, I can fit a full size ice cube in it from our ice cube tray so odor resistant I can also confirm because my youngest one uh, has a habit uh, of not washing it over the weekend and uh, you know it doesn't stink up when when we do wash it on Monday so there you go <laughs> some honest uh, feedback on the features that they they uh, they promote um, like I said, this is an amazing product. I highly recommend it. If you're looking for something to keep cold this this summer, pick one up. You will not regret it. If you guys are uncertain, you don't want to pay full pl price, check out the the code down below. It saves you guys 10%. Just click on that link, use that code, and enjoy 10% off your purchase. So, not, and that's not just for water bottles. That's on everything at thecoldest.com. So, check it out and uh let's get back to the video okay now we're back from that we have to uh um thank each and every one of you guys uh we have finally hit 49,000 after years of constantly being held back at 48,000 we have finally finally made it to 49,000 thank you guys so very very much uh I honestly didn't think we'd ever get out of 48,000. I thought I was just kind of stuck in that rut for the rest of my YouTube career because every time it seems like we got close to 49, they knock us back down to 48. So, thank you guys. I better I better uh, not hold my breath. It might still happen, but we hit a huge milestone. The next milestone is, or well, it's not a huge milestone. We hit our next milestone. Our next milestone is a huge milestone, which is 50,000. Um, I hope I hope I get there so uh, YouTube if you could uh, please let me grow that'd be great thanks uh, but yeah thank you every single one of you who watch this uh, watch my videos watch my live stream it does mean a lot to me guys uh, and uh, finally seeing some growth again after years of being stagnant at, at that 48,000 mark so yay woo <coughs> anyway <coughs> Lem. Let's talk about last week. And uh, last week sucked because freaking mod spotlights. <laughs> I don't know what it was with my recording software. I, I still have not figured it out. Um, twice it just stopped randomly. It w wasn't even like at random, like at like the end of the video, like the ending of the video, or the beginning of the video. Well, technically it was the beginning. Of the video. Anyway, it wasn't like <laughs> even at a certain point it would stop recording. It would just choose when to record and when not to record so like I'd hit the record button and I'd see so I use action and when I hit the record button it changes from blue to red to let me know it's recording um, but I noticed halfway through the mod spotlight I posted on Friday that my mic like stopped working like, like so when I talk um, wasn't even halfway I was almost done anyway when I talk, I can see the feedback um, on the side of my record, the, my little thing. Anyway, uh, I noticed it was just sitting still, and I was like, "Wait, I'm either yelling to the point where, <laughs> to the point where it's maxed out and it's just maxing out, or uh, something's wrong." So I stopped talking, and I realized it wasn't going down. So uh, I <laughs> quickly ended the video and watched it back, and realized that. Uh, it just stopped after eight minutes. It just stopped. I I don't know what what caused it. I really don't. So then, when I started editing my um, when I started editing my uh, Wednesday video, uh, this is, I recorded them the same night. I realized that. Uh, it started off like right before I went to the coldest pitch. I was like, wait a minute. Hold up. Something ain't right. <laughs> there is supposed to be, there's supposed to be more to this video. And uh, yeah, it just got lost. So I ended up being late on that video. 
that Thursday or the Wednesday mod spotlight. I had to post on Thursday because I didn't have time to um, re record that day and get it up on time. Unfortunately, <laughs> I, t I still don't understand what's going on. I've never had any issues uh, with action just kind of like stopping like that while still saying it was going. So, like, it was still telling me I was recording, but it wasn't actually recording. So, really weird. I don't know. Uh, hopefully it doesn't happen again. Knock on wood. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. I, I'm like, if <laughs> if over this next week, if uh, by driving is worse than usual, uh, just know that I'm paying attention to my uh, my visualization of my voice to make sure uh, it's still recording. <laughs> anyway. Um, Uh-oh. No. Okay. I stopped talking. Anyway. Um... Is there anything else for last week? I'm not quite sure. Um, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to think if I missed anything. I haven't really. Um, as far as last week, I, I live streamed a little bit over on the other platform. I don't know if you still can't say the word. Uh, the witch's name starts with T. Um, I don't know if you still can't say that over here on YouTube. So I'm still being very cautious and careful now. Now that I'm growing a little bit again. Um, I don't want to hinder that in any way. So I've been streaming over there. Uh, I stream some New World and I stream some Minecraft. Now, I, the the full plan was to export it out over here, but well, um, I was like two hours in before someone told me that I didn't have any game audio uh, in New World. So I was like, oh, okay, well, I'm not gonna post that. Uh, and then uh, on my Minecraft. I should probably go back and see if it if it's working uh, if I export it out. Um, but yeah, it muted. The, I was using copyright free music from YouTube, so apparently it's copyrighted over there. So yeah, it's a huge hassle trying to. Anyway, um, but I have I've started up back up a Minecraft server for uh, us to play on, um, which right now it's just me and Brandon. JT popped in it for like a split second. I smacked him and he quickly left. Um, so it could just be that. Uh, but he's been having computer issues. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, it, right now it's just really me playing on it. But I've been playing a lot on it uh, in between free time. So if you guys are, are interested in watching me stream that, make sure you pay attention to the Discord notifications because I'll send out a tweet tweet and post whenever I do go live over there. Anyway. Um, so yeah. Hopefully I'm going to try to export the Minecraft stuff. I'm going to be making videos in between so there might be like a set of a map mod spotlight this week. Actually I think there is a cool map that I want to do a map mod spotlight on. Anyway uh, if there's not it depends on what, what there is. I'll just uh do like a Minecraft Monday, kind of like an update of what's been, what I've been working on. Do like an intro video this week or something uh, to, to get get the ball rolling. Anyway, anywho, let's move on to this week and what to expect. So this week might be a little iffy um, because let's see, I think it's Tuesday. Uh, have have to, have to deal with courts. Um, and then on Wednesday, it's an event for my wife. I don't know how much she wants me to say, but uh, there is an event going on that night for her. So uh, things might be a little bit, uh, you know, hit and miss this week. I'm going to try my best to get as much as I can record it tonight and as much as I can possibly can um, rendered and uploaded uh, for the week as I can before Sunday, uh, or I should say before Monday, uh, we'll see how it goes. But uh, just know that there's there's some stuff going on this week that might um, make some things late, or might possibly not even go up at all. We shall see. Um, so for as far as today, though, you guys can expect the Phoenix moment. You're watching it now. Uh, if you're not watching it now, well, then you just just don't know. That's how I say it. Anyway. <laughs> Um, 
tomorrow or later today will either be a map map mod spoiler or like a minecraft intro video i don't know which one it's going to be just yet uh, we, we shall see uh, i kind of want to do a minecraft and we'll do a we should we'll do a minecraft video for sure and then we'll just do the map mod spotlight next week uh tuesday should be should get ats up this week uh, i'm going to probably try to record a couple of those either tonight or tomorrow night and um get those up i might focus on that tomorrow night do after i get done streaming record like two or three ats mod spotlight so they're up because there's a couple cool mods i want to check out so <clears throat> we'll we'll try to get that done as far as second video for Tuesday, still got a, a few more episodes of uh, This Is Us, or not This Is Us, It Takes Two. Why? Wow. Okay. I do need to get with PJs and see if uh, we can record uh, some more of that. Uh, hopefully this week when he streams because uh, I would like to finish the game and uh, maybe I should get through what we got before I do that because I'm limited on hard drive space because I also reinstalled uh, <laughs> Call of Duty um, Cold War because uh, I I was excited for Call of Duty Bomb Warfare 2 until I saw the price tag of 70 bucks and I was like maybe not that excited <laughs> um, so yeah anyway uh, uh, Tuesday. Anyway, Wednesday will be a mod spotlight for sure. Uh, probably semi trucks, I think. Um, I have a couple of those to do. Second video for Wednesday will be a Phoenix Plays. It's probably going to be Skater XL, so I can uh, go ahead and remove that from my computer because that was kind of a, a buzzkill uh, playing that. Uh, I'm I kind of feel bad for talking PJs into buying it. He bought it. Luckily, uh, we didn't pay enough to where he couldn't return it because that was forty bucks, and that game's not worth forty bucks. Um, so yeah, we'll probably be that. I've already given the spoiler away, but for those of you interested to see the gameplay, there you go. All right, Thursday. I don't have any ready or not. Or uh, into the flames to do or to post, so I don't know what Thursday will be. Maybe I'll do some solo into the flames. I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there, I guess. Uh, second video for third. Uh, yeah, I don't have no clue what it'll be. Maybe I'll just put the map mod spotlight in there. Who knows? Friday though will be the animal shelter video. It was supposed to go up last week. Um, I kind of got behind with the whole uh, recording software not recording uh, so I didn't get time to post, post that up but yeah that'll be up there uh, I think that's it as far as uploads live streams Friday farm Friday for sure Saturday I'm not quite sure about Saturday um, because we're getting to a point uh, with Tyler working uh, JT not being able to join um, Brandon it has like a TV show to watch on Saturday so I'm really relying on PJs to show up and keep me company on Saturday. Saturdays because JT usually dips out early. Tyler's been dipping out early now. Brandon doesn't usually come in until later. And he won't be here. So I might take Saturday off. I don't know. We'll see uh, if I can find. Maybe if you guys want I can do something solo. Just me you guys chat. Maybe do some ATS trucking like we did before I don't know we'll see how it goes uh, I'm not making any promises though okay okay um as far as that I don't I think that covers everything so yeah we're gonna get he'll go ahead and get you out of here so if you guys did enjoy today's video be sure to leave that like to click that like button down below not leave a like well you can leave a like or uh, click that like button down below if you guys do want to see future Farming Simulator 22 Phoenix Holmes. Be sure to click that subscribe button if you guys want to be notified. Whenever I do a live or upload a video, click that notification bell. As always, guys, thank you so very much for watching. Now, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.